Sections are an important part of architectural presentation, but they take a lot of time in Photoshop and Illustrator. So we are going to make a quick perspective section in SketchUp and Layout. So without further ado, let's get started. First, cut this section. So click on this icon, go to the tools and click on section plane. Align it with the face of wall and then use move command to adjust the section. Try to get the maximum details from a single cut. Now select the section plane, right click and select align view. This will adjust the camera in the direction of section. Click on zoom icon to check this field of view. It should be around 35. Now go to the camera, click on two point perspective. It will make the vertical lines parallel to each other. Don't forget to save the scene. Next we will edit the styles. In style click on edit. Go to the background settings and change the background to white. And also turn off the sky and ground. Under edge settings turn off the profile and make the edge color little bit less dark. Under modeling part, turn the section line width to 1 and uncheck the section plane. It will hide the section plane from the scene. Turn on the shadows by clicking on this icon under shadows. Now you can adjust the angle of shadows with the time and date slider. Adjust the intensity of the shadow with the light and the dark sliders. Now don't forget to save the styles which we have added. To save the style, simply give a name to this style and click on this plus icon. Scenes which we have saved have a previous style so apply a new saved style and then right click on the scene and click update. Now model is ready to send to the layout. So to send it, go to the file and click on send to layout. In layout, first we have to select the sheet. You can select whatever you want. I am selecting the plain A3 size sheet. First thing which we will be doing layout is that we will create the layers. By clicking on this plus icon, create separate layer for the trees, people, annotation and the dimensions. And rename the default layer to the main model. After this, we will add them one by one to the specific layer. Let's start with the dimensions. Click on the dimension layer to make it active. Now click on this icon to make dimensions. Go to dimension style to check the unit and the precision. Under shape style you can change the arrow style and the thickness. I am using this architectural tick type. Now all the settings are done, now start making the dimensions. As every other software layout too has some limitations. Sometimes while dimensioning it shows some wrong dimension as it snaps to other point in the 3D model. So it's good to cross check it with the 3D model. If there are some wrong dimensions you can double click on it and edit the text. After placing all the dimensions, we will turn off this dimension layer by clicking on this eye icon in the front of this layer. Now click on tree layer to activate it. Go to the sky book and select the tree elevation from this drop down list. Now click and drag them to add to the sheet. Hold shift while resizing them. It will resize them in the original proportions. As you can see the trees are in the front of model. We want them in back. So we will move the layer of trees below the main model layer. Now turn the tree layers off and make the people layer active. As you can see in this counter we have to make a human figure. So 
To make that, first we will simply drag and drop a human figure from the scrapbook. Now double click on the figure to edit it. Select the parts which we don't want to see and press delete. Now adjust the point to match it with the countertop. Just click and drag them to the counter. Now let's turn on all the layers. As you can see the dimensions and the tree are very dark in this section. They are taking too much attention. So to make them little light, we have to decrease the transparency. There is, there is no direct option in this to decrease the opacity. So we will make a rectangle over it and make it little opaque. After this, add this to the new layer, name it translucent. Select the rectangle, right click and move it to the translucent layer. Now bring the main model layer over the translucent layer. While selecting the rectangle, go to fill. Click on color and decrease its transparency to 50. Now the model is looking more prominent. These, these sides of rectangle are visible. So turn off the strokes also. Bring the people layer in front of translucent layer as we don't want the peoples to fade out. If you want something of your own, you can draw them with these basic tools like pencil, arc and rectangle and this circle. For example, I am creating the sun and the flying birds. I will change the fill color and stroke color to make this. Let's send this to the dimension layer. I am using this 3 point arc tool to make this shape and then join them together with the join tool. Now lastly we will add the annotation with the annotation icon. Under textiles, you can change the font and the size of it. Click and hold shift to make a straight line ladder. Double click on the text to edit it. So now our quick section is ready. Hope you like the video. Alright guys, I hope you find this video useful. If you want to learn more, please do like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the future videos. This is iArchitect signing off.